Hey guys, Tom with Buy Me an iPhone.com back at you today. Now, today we are going to be doing a uh, kind of a special video. We're going to be doing a comparison video. Now, why a comparison video? Because we all love to tell each other what's great and what sucks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, compare some snapback cases for the iPhone 4 today. We're going to be comparing the SGP Ultra Thin, we're going to be comparing the Incipio Feather, and we're going to be comparing the Casemate Barely There. Now I have my favorites of these cases, you may have yours too, but we're going to go over to the close-up camera, I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike about each of them, and that way you can tell me what is great and what sucks. So let's move over to the close-up camera right about now. Okay guys, here we are at the close-up camera and I guess we can call this the snap back smackdown. We're going to compare the SGP Ultra Thin, the Incipio Feather, and the Casemate Barely There, all for the iPhone 4. Okay, and uh, guys, uh, that Casemate is uh, a custom Casemate Barely There, but it's in essence the uh, same case, just the design's a little different. And we're going to really kind of tell you uh, what I like and dislike about each one of these and give you a little bit of an overview. Okay, first, um, let's kind of go over the price points and what you get with each. Okay, uh, the Ultra, the SGP Ultra Thin is uh, $19.99, okay, and it's the cheapest of the three, obviously. Well, not obviously. And you get a Steinhill uh, screen shield, crystal, crystal clear screen shield. You get an Apple logo protector, you get a cloth, and you get a squeegee. So, let's kind of open this up and we'll show you what you get in here. Okay. You get the uh, SGP Ultra Thin. Okay, nice case there. And then you get a uh, screen shield, a squeegee, a cleaning cloth, and the Apple logo protector. Okay. Then on the Incipio, okay, the Incipio Feather, you get the Incipio cleaning cloth, you get a front and a back screen shield. I'm not sure why they give you a front and a back screen shield, but they do. Okay, just generic, or no, two fronts, I'm sorry. Two front screen shields. These are just generic screen shields. Nothing to write home about. Okay, and then you get the cleaning cloth and a squeegee. And then with the casemate, uh, barely there, you of course get the screen shield and the cleaning cloth and a squeegee. So, um, the feather, Okay, and the casemate barely there. Okay, the non-custom. I'm just using the custom uh, to demonstrate the case. Both of these are $24.99, and the SGP is $19.99. So already, guys, I'm liking the SGP value. If for no other reason, you get a Steinhill crystal clear screen shield, as opposed from the casemate and the feather and the Incipio Feather, you get a generic screen shield. So already the value um, is with the SGP. But let's kind of get to some of the, I guess, nitty gritty of the, of the three cases. Let's start with the Feather. The Feather is a basic case, okay? It's um, not real strong. I mean, it's very bendable, okay? It's very thin, don't get me wrong, but it's very bendable. Comes in a lot of different colors. All these come in a lot of colors. Um, it just seems like a normal everyday snapback case. Nothing special. The casemate is a little bit more rigid than the feather. Okay, but again, okay, just the the pretty plain plastic. There's nothing on the inside to protect your phone. Um, neither of them have a bunch of flash it just doesn't seem it just seems like the pretty basic snapback case that you can buy off ebay for about six bucks when you get to the um sgp as you can tell oh, let's get, step back one more time the um casemate barely there is a glossy finish the incipio is a matte finish now when you get over to the sgp um you've got kind of a high gloss finish Hey, I've been using the yellow one for over a month now. I don't have any scratches in it whatsoever. The uh, camera holes about the same on the Feather as the uh, SGP. A Little bit different on the Casemate. As you can see on the SGP, it's a round camera hole opening. On the Casemate, it is the teardrop style. And 
on the inside of the SGP, number one, you have this protective film. Okay? I, I don't know if it's uh, some special film, but it's, a, it's in essence a protective sticker there. Okay, so you're able to get some protection. And as you can see, the detail on the SGP for the buttons, just a lot more detail than the other two cases. As you can see on the casemate, it's just a cutout. There's nothing on the feather. But the SGP has really nice button uh, holes and the sleep wake or the vibrate button hole. On the three cases, guys, as per much as protection is concerned, let's kind of pop the phone into the feather. Okay. Again, it just seems like a cheap plastic type of case. Doesn't give you much protection on the bottom. Um, the corners are about as thick as the rest of the cases. It just doesn't seem very protective to me. Now let's go over to the casemate, barely there. Hey, again, I don't even like putting my, my phone in there. There's no protection on the back or anything. Again, not too bad. It just seems like it goes in and out really easily. If I drop it or something, it seems like the, the phone may bounce out. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so it just seems like it's really easy to get that off. Again, not much protection. The corners, the same thickness as the rest of the case. Okay, so let's take the case made out. Now let's put in the uh, phone into the SGP Ultra Thin. Now it is a little bit more difficult to get it into the SGP Ultra Thin. You have to put it in and you have to kind of snap up there. But as you can see, it does give you a little bit of lay on the table design. Okay, where the other two don't. Now you may be wondering, oh, how is this gonna affect the screen shield? Because it does come with the Stein Hill screen shield, which is cut just a tad smaller, has no problems with the screen shield, no pull up whatsoever. Okay, as you can see here, the corners seem to be a little bit more meaty. And I know that you guys laugh at me in my first review of the SGP Ultra Thin. The corners seem to be a little bit more meaty than the rest of the case. Okay, for some reason, seems like the corners are a little bit more meaty. So it just seems like you're getting a little bit more protection with the SGP Ultra Thin as you do from the casemate and the feather, okay? Okay, the casemate and the feather. And as you can see, the buttons, really high attention to detail on the buttons, very precise. Hey, this, this does not come with any of the three. I just have that kind of plugged in there. And as you can see, guys, I mean, when you put it down next to the other two, I mean, it's just heads and shoulders above the two. I mean, this, it just seems this a nice high gloss uh, finish. Again, it doesn't scratch. I don't know what kind of material they put on it, but I have not had any scratching problems with my yellow. Um, not saying that you're going to have a scratching problem with the other two, but you know, they're just kind of a, a plasticky material. It just seems kind of cheap. The SGP does seem a lot, a lot more firm, you know, in all aspects. So getting the SGP out or getting the phone out of the SGP, yeah, it does take a little bit more effort, okay? But, okay, it gives you that much more protection. So you kind of peel the corner up there and then kind of pop it over the edge. Oh, maybe I'm just in this awkward position. There we go, and pop it out. So guys, all in all, okay, we've got the SGP Ultra Thin. Again, $19.99, comes with a uh, Apple logo protector, a Steinhill crystal clear screen shield, a cloth and a squeegee, comes in lots of colors. We have the Incipio Feather, okay? Um, $24.99 comes with two generic screen shields. Looks just kind of cheap generic screen shields. It just, it doesn't seem real, real solid in my hand for some reason. Okay, again, $24.99. And uh, it does come with two generic screen shields, cloth and a squeegee, comes in lots of colors. The casemate, quite frankly, um, is kind of the, the third of the bunch. Um, you know, it just seems like kind of cheap plastic. You know, again, you know, this is the custom one. It comes in a bunch of different colors. There's no protection on the back whatsoever. Um, it just doesn't look like it, the fit and finish of the other two. 
And again, this is $24.99. Comes with a screen shield, a cleaning cloth, and a squeegee. Comes in lots of colors. But guys, I think you can tell just by putting the three, you know, side by side, the uh, SGP really wins out um, very easily in my opinion. So uh, you save five bucks, you get a Steinhill screen shield, which is worth six or seven bucks in itself. And I think the case is much better. So guys, that is my um, kind of smackdown of the, sn the snapbacks of the three very popular uh, snapback cases for the iPhone 4, the SGP, the Feather, and the Casemate. And this is how I would rate them. The SGP Ultra Thin uh, comes in first by a long margin. It's not even close. The Feather uh, is second, and the uh, Casemate barely there is a third. Okay, I don't want to say a distant third, but neither of these cases are close to the SGP Ultra Thin. Okay, I just, I, I love this case and I hate snapback cases, guys, but this is the one snapback case that I would use. So that is my uh, kind of smackdown between the three. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. Uh, if you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. And make sure you check out our Stick Cam show every other Saturday night, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. We have great guests, great tech talk, and always some great prizes. So guys, I hope this was helpful to you if you were deciding on one of these three cases. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, I appreciate your support, and we will see you guys in the next video.